Hey everyone, Bing here from Idlestan Nation, and today I'll be going over how exactly I got into K-pop. Let's get right into the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. So, to start off, I basically watch a lot of YouTube. Um, most of my nights, I just randomly browse YouTube. And this is actually how I came across my first K-pop video. So it's super late, like let's say 2 a.m. or around 3 a.m. And I'm just getting ready to go to bed. And I'm like, you know, I'll watch one more video. I'm, I'm in the random side of YouTube. I'm watching just the, the most random video. And up in the recommendations is actually a sister video. Um, this one was Shake It. So me being the curious self I am, decided to actually check it out. Now I'm sitting here watching this video and I'm like, eh, I don't know. I was like, I don't know what this is. I don't know anything about it. I was like, it looks really good though. It looks fun. And that's when I kind of started getting into all of this and researching more and watching more videos and kind of discovering all of it. Now when I mean researching and discovering, that was mostly only sister because when I started out, I was kind of like, I, I use this expression when I explain how I got into this a lot, but I kind of hoarded them. I, um, I only watched their videos, I only listened to their music, I was trying not to breach out because I knew I would get lost in, you know, the sea of K-pop. So with only listening to them for quite a while um you know i watched their music videos often i basically went through all that up pops a a twice video on my recommendations all right and i was kind of putting it off i was like i don't want to watch it because i know i'm gonna fall in love with it i'm gonna you know start listening to them blah blah, blah all all the regular stuff it was it was signal from twice and when i finally checked it out it it kind of blew me away i was like oh my god i was like i need to listen to them i need to i need to start researching them you know discovering them learning more about them and i was pretty much lost from there now with finally knowing who twice was and what their music was i listened to them the same way i listened to sister i basically hoarded them only listened to them for a while I was super into their music and just you know discovered them as a whole new group because it was it was quite amazing and after a while I'd say I started finding more and more groups and kind of broadening my horizon I think I still listen to twice and sister the most but I was definitely getting more groups in my playlist and in my my watch feed and that's when my recommendations on YouTube just skyrocketed with more and more videos of different groups and that's when I started really checking them out and listening to literally everything I could get my hands on now when I actually started ordering albums and anything that groups actually put out for sale I exclusively started with only twice and I only picked up their albums first and anything that they would put out I would pretty much buy which sounds like a lot because I mean it kind of is but I still do that up to this day I pretty much try to get my hands on anything that they release just so that I can have it in like a physical version I was even lucky enough to get me a copy of Twice Coaster Lane 1 and it's actually autographed so I was pretty excited about that. It did cost a little bit, but you know, anything for twice. But yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how I got into K-pop. Um, my playlist is currently sitting at around 1,700 songs. So yeah, I guess you could say I've discovered quite a lot. There's still a lot more to discover and check out. Um, which I'm currently doing every single day. 
but I'd say I'm pretty happy with how far I've came from only checking out one small YouTube video in my recommendations to how big my playlist is now and how deep I am into K-pop. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, remember to leave a like, uh, comment down below any thoughts or recommendations you have for me to check out. Um, don't forget to subscribe. We do weekly podcasts. So remember to check them out. I'll leave a link in the bio and I'll also include an end card that you can just click on right after watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.